can share with you how to make another tabletop uh, or quilling technique or anything um, because this project at the end you can turn into different things so whatever you want to use i um, show you how to cut the triangle shape it's very easy the zero paper i have here eight and a half by 11 you're gonna fold it in half i'm using the whole eight and a half inches and then from corners here go to the fold you're going to use this ruler and then you're going to move until you get the a and half and make sure it's a and half to it out here make sure everything light up right there now you're going to cut this out so you can have that the um, triangle this is the best way to make a diamond shape too. All you need to do is that you're going to put this side at the fold of the paper and then when you cut so you have the two sides here that make a diamond. If you understand what I mean. After you cut now the same place, you're going to cut. I use two different colors. Fabric here, I use the green and it's kind of pink, purple kind of. And I cut six of them. So one for each, okay? You're going to place it together, the right side to the right side. When I do so something small like that, I don't need to pin the whole thing around, okay? You go on to sew a quarter up and, and you're going to do them all, six of them, pair them like this, okay? And then you go on to sew, you're going to leave about an inch and a half open. A quarter of an inch you're gonna sew around here or around to here and stuff. Leave this open so you can inside out. Do all six. So now I finished. I am done that, but I'm gonna show you over here. So um when I start sewing a quarter of an inch, I go from the very end here, so all the way down, and then from the very end here go all the way down, just like that. And then from here go down past it and then leave the spade go down past it and go all the way and then start from the corner all the way so now I'm going to trim this it's super simple and it from here you're gonna press when you press Andrea if you're watching this video just be gentle you don't need to be too crazy about it okay just you the tip of your fingernail and press don't pull your fingernail that's why it hurt when you say when you do this it hurt no just press really gentle with your fingernail don't press too hard or don't don't go on the side of the the finger just your nail but gentle not too crazy or you can get the popsicle stick and pull like the same way i did okay and then that side go on to this side very easy after you sew the whole bunch and sit down listen to something and do this only six of them okay so after this you're gonna inside out Thank you for the people that donate to my channel and also always click on the like button to support my video and stay on the video until the end. That's a very important. Okay, so press all that out. You can use a pencil or a chopstick, whatever, to push it out. like that and it's done see i like a pencil because it tap the tip that pointy and it's easier to push out of the um, the corners like that you go on to press on the side and then move it back on to iron
You can change the fabric, depend on what you like to do. If you do this for Valentine, you can change the pink and whatever, okay? But the solid color, I think it looks nicer. I have six of them on here, okay? You go into top stitch all the three sides. All right, everyone, so after I top stitch, I'm going to show you one. And you're going to do the rest of them. Very simple. Very cute, too. So I'm going to use the, the green side, and I'm going to go from here. I'm going to make sure I go one more time. Okay, and then I'm going to get the other side. And then this side. Pull it right into the center. Keep the needle there. And then you press this down. When you press this down, you're going to see it right in the center like this. Everything is even. Okay, so I iron this down. So I can get the center of it. And also it lying down for me. The three side in here, not the four, on the three sides here. You can mark the center if you want. You can eyeball it if you want to. So I'm going to mark the center right here. And right here, right in the center. Not in my finger. Okay, and here too. And now I am going to pull this and then I'll go into the other side. I'm going to this side. So when I'm going to this side, the center that I marked earlier, remember on this side right here? I'm going to go to that side, pull that right in, and hold your finger right there. Okay, you can go one more, slide it up, pull it, okay? And then go to the next one that you marked earlier. You're going to hold it down, pull it down to here. You're going to sew this two sides together. And then the last one that you mark the center here, you're going to pull this into to the center. It's so cute. Very easy to do too. So now I'm going to sew one more time because I want it to stay there. Okay. Now I have the pearl. You can purchase the pearl. Um, if you want to check in my description box, I add the, the link there so you can check it. It's cheap. I only show, um, share something that is cheaper. So go into the center. I'm at the pearl. If you don't want to use the pearl, use the button. And I want to go to the holes one more time here of the pearl. And then I go down. Okay. So now when I have this down here, the pearl, I'm going to wrap this around. I'm going to wrap around like two or three times. I want to make a loop. And then you're going to go back in the back here, the center that you, from the beginning. Okay, go in the back here. So this in the back. Now from here you can go up and down and sew the button. Okay. And that basically it. You go on to finish them all and then I'll show you what to do with this. When you go back and forth, make sure you go right in behind the pearl here because you don't want to I think I'm going to go for like two times and it's good. I'll go behind the button. 
okay and then from here I'm gonna wrap and then I'm done I go right here slide underneath the button and then make the loop and come out I'm done so you finish the the other five you can see everything meet right in the center just it's so easy to do you see and look in the back okay so finish them all okay so have this and then I'm bringing the next one and I'm right at the corner right here I'm gonna sew this together snowing now sorry bad day because today is the day I have very busy schedule so drop up the boy and I come home do video or if I have something to catch up around the house I do that and then at this missile I come pick up one of them just one bring them home bring him home and then two hours after I have to come back and pick up the other one because the other the Ethan has the uh, violin practice so oh so that school is like I drive back and forth six times and it's snowing really crazy outside okay so like that right and then the next one I'm just adding 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 okay but make sure you go in the behind here I read your comment every day, everyone. Just don't think that you send me a comment I don't list I don't read. I read your comment every day. But sometimes like I don't have enough time to say something unless you have question. So my new year, the lunar new year coming up, everyone, is the year of your dragon. So if you are born the year of the red, the year of the red, um, and the monkey, the year of the monkey, will be a good year for you this year. Can the dragon get along with monkey and red? So, I remember when we were in Vietnam, when I was little, the new year, me, my cousin, and my sister were so happy the first day of the new year, you know, walk around with new clothes on and everything. And that's long time ago. Sound like I'm very old. Um, when they when they still let you play with the uh, firecracker and everything like that, they don't let people do that anymore. I don't know why, but I know why. But you know, anyway. So um, so my cousin is so happy with new clothes. Walk around the neighbor. We're walking, and then all of a sudden the kid in the neighbor not kid at that time they was like our age um just burned the firecracker and then throwing at my cousin <laughs> and then her clothes it get burned on the bottom she was so mad it wasn't a good day all of that i told my kids i'm like that what happened when i leave in my country i did this and i did that and they say oh i want to go there <laughs> too funny you know if you do this without a circle in the center you can make the ribbon on the top and then you can hang at, at your door so beautiful for the spring or for any holiday, you can change the fabric.
everyone i'm doing a inches place and i cut down the interface number a09 and i use this kind of fabric and i'm placing here i make sure that all around i have a quarter of an inch iron on it iron on the back side of this Save them. All right, so now I'm gonna place this fabric on top of this, and you go into sew. You sew it all around, and then you go into leave. You're gonna leave about two inches right here open. So follow the interfacing on the side of the interfacing and sew. Do not sew on the interfacing. Okay, so go ahead, everyone. Everyone, I finished and tops it and everything. So we're gonna place the um, the flower on top of this, and we're gonna sew it around. And I'm going to spade it out. Perfect. We start from here. Okay, I hold it here. I'm gonna go in underneath. You have to put it together first to be able to do this because if not, it it move around. And then I use the um, the button. This button I got it from Walmart. It's awesome. It's like it come with the blue. And then I go to here, and I go on the bottom. Go through the other side of this. Sew this in. I don't want to sew it here because it's the lie. It doesn't look so good. So sew this button together with this to hold this together. It's so, so beautiful. And then you go on around. You go on around and then you sew them all in each of the joys here. And when you're done, it's so beautiful. Um... When you buy the button, find the one with two holes. <laughs> so it's less sewing time for you. So I go up and down, up and down in the back here. Yeah. Look good. And then I go to the back here. Go smaller. And then I make a loop. I come out like that. Okay, and that will stay in for you very nicely. Yeah, that one stay in, and then you go into the next one, add another button, sew it in, and add another one, sew it in, sew it in, sew it in, sew it, it in. Make sure that it stay on the outer line of the circle. Hey everyone, after I finish, this is what it looked like. And um, the side, I'm going to go from here to here. It's 12 and a half inch. If you want, you can go around and sew it all around if you want to. Okay, I need to iron it. If you want, you can sew this in here, but it's not going to look good. It's going to stay like that anyway, everyone. Okay, and in the back, you can see the button is very cute in the back too. Let me just show you. Look at the button in the back. Stay safe, take care, and uh, thank you for watching everyone. If you are new to my channel, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And also click on the bell notification. Every time I upload a video, you get notified. Um, just so you don't know, 
um, about the like button. The like button is very important to every YouTuber video, everyone. So if you watch the other people video, make sure you click on the like button for them too. Don't forget, very important. Stay safe, take care, love you.